which is four city uh, how it's going to look like uh, when it is completed 25 years time so this is a, a model that you can uh, you know imagine Thank you very much for giving me this great opportunity to interview you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. So, sir, can you tell me, in the Indian Ocean, before seven years ago, it was just the sea, and now today, in 2022, there's an extra part which is called the Port City. So. There are about 660 acres that have reclaimed to build the port city. So could you tell me where we are standing right now? Excellent question. I think you have uh, studied about port city yeah. very well, uh, you. you know, coming here. So welcome to port city. It's very honored to uh, have you here at port city. You are standing on uh, somewhat used to be the ocean seven years ago, as exactly you have mentioned. So as I was and say this is the, uh, the golf face green and you have come towards the presidential secretariat and another 100 meters towards your left side and you are standing we are right now somewhere in that blue color buildings or the structures you can see so we are basically somewhere right now so this building so you are standing right now this is what we call is sales gallery uh, which was built on this reclaimed land so, this was used to be Indian Ocean as you correctly mentioned. Yeah. So, uh, could you tell me the technology that Sri Lanka has used to build this port city because there are so many technologies in the world to build and reclaim the sea. Another excellent question. Uh, reclaiming ocean is not a new uh, thing. It has been uh, used in many countries uh, around the globe. For Sri Lanka, it's a relatively new idea, as you said. Uh, so we use a couple of technologies uh, when it comes to uh, using sand and dumping here this part of the ocean and to reclaim this uh, piece of land, we have used rainbow pumping as well as water dumping. Uh, so those are the technologies to use taking sand, dredge the sand somewhere off the, uh, the coastal area and we have put that sand over this part of uh, you know, uh, the project area and create or reclaim uh, this land piece. But the technology wise, uh, when to build this city, we have used land compaction, hydrodynamic, uh, compact, a lot of technologies. I can, I can go on uh, the list, but it has been used the most modern and most environment friendly technology because you have to consider about the environment as well. Uh, any, any development, especially building on sand, uh, building on sea, would impact uh, the existing environment. So we have done a lot of uh, studies, we have gone through a lot of uh, technical studies and with all these guidance, we have done this uh, with all the experts involved. Yes, yeah, so as you said, it's very important to make the environment friendly. Of course. So countries such as uh, Singapore, Italy, the Netherlands, Hong Kong and many more had also reclaimed the ocean and built cities like this. So, and they, by building those uh, cities, by reclaiming the ocean, they have developed their economics and get extra value to the country. So, by building Port City Colombo, what is the development that we can get of the economy to Sri Lanka? Another good question, as you have mentioned, all these countries, uh, I think you have missed the uh, United Arab Emirates, UAE, uh, which was very famous with uh, Dubai, uh, Palm Jumeirah and uh, all these uh, reclaimed projects that they have done. So, as you mentioned, uh, Ayansa, reclaiming land or creating the extension to the existing Kalabo Central Business District is in fact 
we are creating a, a value uh, to the land. So, Colombo uh, Business District itself a very important uh, location when it comes to businesses, especially the land value. So, we have created, as you said, 664 acres out of sea. So, that land value itself is the biggest investment for the country. Uh, going forward, all the businesses, buildings, hotels, um, uh, restaurants, to uh, office buildings, to many other activities that will come in the future will contribute immensely to the development of the country. So any development here, let's say a restaurant will be put up here, all the, the supply chain from the vegetable to workers to cleaning staff to even the, uh, the, the dining, the customers, so they will all coming from uh, either existing from Sri Lanka, uh, the mainland or overseas. So that will contribute to the economy that will forward to the other businesses as well. So it, it is an immense project. You can go into much of details, but I would like to em emphasize on the land bank, as I said. So creating a huge land just next to Kalamu Central Business District alone will create a huge investment value to the country. Yeah. So I believe that Port City will be fully constructed within the next several years. So once it is being fully constructed, what are the opportunities that we will get from this? Wow. Another good question uh, answer because uh, children like you yeah. will be the next leaders of this country, uh, the drag driving force behind all the, the future activities that is happening in Sri Lanka. So this city has immense potential. You can do anything uh, in this city because it's, it's still in the very uh, ground zero level. Uh, this can turn into a, a modern metropolis with modern high tech uh, uh, infrastructure, then the businesses that is going to be in place here would be uh, competing with other countries around the globe, as well as the, the, the sustainability, uh, the environmental friendliness, all these elements that you can look in as potential opportunities. If you want to grow up to be a business woman, then Port City would be an ideal place to start your business. But if you want to look into the sustainability angle, environmental angle, and again, Port City would be an ideal place to place your knowledge and make sure it will sustain and make sure it will be an uh, environment friendly city. So, immense potential there. Plus, there will be entertainment, there will be more uh, leisure activities. So, any uh, profession that you are dreaming to be, you don't need to uh, go overseas or you don't need to migrate. You can stay in Sri Lanka and this modern metropolis will going to give you uh, a lot of opportunities uh, in the days to come. Yeah, thank you very much for getting me understand about all these things and thank you very much for giving me your valuable time to interview you and it was great being to interview you. Thank you. It's my pleasure and uh, it's a great honour to be interviewed by a young uh, future leader of Sri Lanka and Vichelian. I answer, thank you very much for coming here and uh, uh, sharing this knowledge with your classmates and your other school friends. So thank you very much on behalf of Port City. Thank you. You're welcome.